Hello, my name is Ron Rollison. I'm originally from Philadelphia, born but raised in uh, primarily in Pensacola, New Jersey. Um, the first time I encountered um, Smart Jocks was when I met Ted Davis in the summer of 1995. I was attending a St. Joe's basketball camp. I just finished my freshman year at Pensacola. Uh, I was a JV player, a marginal player at the time big kid and uh, Ted that came over and uh, Ted Davis that came over and introduced himself to me and uh, they asked me where I was from I think it was the last day of camp um, and uh, I told him where I was from and, he, and, and we shook hands and maybe about two weeks later I think he gives me a call and invites me to come down to the Camden Y and I come down there and we uh, meet some of the players that was already a part of Smart Jocks um, Brian Turner, at the time, I believe Clayton Brown from Palmyra was working with us. Brian Turner from Morristown Friends, uh, Billy Ingram, Calvin Fleming, a few guys from Woodrow Wilson, a couple guys from Camden High, the Lewis Scott. And uh, from then on, we would um, get together at, and at the uh, Camden Y after school and work out before, before we would, um, I mean, get to meet at the at the Y at Camden and go over our classwork for the day before we work out. Now I'm backtracking saying this because that's where the you know the term smart jocks came from was always education first. And at that time wasn't nobody nobody else in the area doing anything remotely close to that. You know, so for me that was like, you know, kinda intriguing, like wow, you know, this is cool because at that time my grades wasn't the best. And I didn't really know where I was going in life and what was going to happen to me, but I was just happy to be a part of something. And um, through Smart Jocks, I gained exposure of meeting gentlemen like John Hartnett, who became very influ influential in my career and someone who helped me along the way, and Freddie Douglas and other people that Ted Davis had introduced us to over the years. And um, I remember we would have workouts at the Morristown Y sometimes. We would go to different college practices, St. Joe's, um, Temple. First time I, I seen a Temple practice was with the Smart Jocks group. And at the, this was before there was even Apollo. We were down to McGonagall Hall. And um, obviously that played some favor in me choosing Temple when it came time to pick a college. And I played four years at Temple from 1998 to 2002. Um, played on some really good teams with some really great players. Um, I was primarily a role player, but I had a good role on the team, and I saw significant minutes all four years. And um, it took me leaving Temple, going through life experiences, one that I'm going through now that I that I'll speak on in a minute. But it took going to Temple and and leaving to look back and realize just how blessed I was to be a part of the Temple Isles program. You know, sometimes you don't appreciate things when you're going through it, but once you can look back and think the things that Coach Cheney instilled in his players, even some of us who felt like, you know, maybe he didn't like us the best, or maybe we felt like, you know, um, like, like our careers could have been differently if we had done things differently, if we had handled ourselves differently, should I say. Um, you always have those things that coach would say to you that resonates in your mind and and as I and as I deal with my current situation in life now where as of last September twenty eighth to be exact, I had an aortic dissection and uh, had to have six hours of open heart surgery and due to lack of blood flow during the operation uh, I lost my left leg all the way up to my hip. I had a hip disarticulation. I spent five months in the hospital. I lost vision in my left eye. I had nerve damage in my right hand at, to this day. Some of the things will be corrected in time, um, but you know, I, I, I'm obviously the, the, main, the main injuries I have, I have to live with. But as I slowly recover and take each day one day at a time in this struggle, 
Uh, I still think back of the things that coach would tell us, you know, about, you know, what manner of man are you and how, you know, how, you know, take pride in being, you know, part of Temple and and just the type of character that it would, that we, that he built in us from playing through for him is one of the reasons why I can sit here and talk right now through all the tragedies that I felt that I've been dealing with over this last eight, nine months. And um, I can just truly say that um, even in the toughest times that I have now, I always think back of, of my days at Temple, uh, my times at Smart Jocks, which led me to Temple, and those times back then, which have helped to create the better man that I have become now.